Hi, my name is Roman Khan. I'm going to teach you how to use Minitab by taking you through a worked example from my book, Minitab Exercises for Green Belts. By the way, that's available on Amazon. I recommend you work along with the example by downloading the data set from my website, RMK6 Sigma. And by the way, that's free. All the details are given below. Let's go when you're ready. On this is the second video on analysis of variance. Video one covered the one way ANOVA and the standard deviation test. And this being video two, it's going to cover the ANOVA general linear model. You can download the data sets from RMK Six Sigma to work along exercise 5.04. If you want to do my training course in Minitab and get certified, please go to thinksixsigma.com. So the details of both websites are given below. Exercise 5.04. Ikra wants to buy the Noodle 6 Pro phone, but she only has enough cash to buy a used phone. She wants to ensure she gets the best deal, so she collects data on phone prices and features. Phone price is her continuous response variable. The data has been collected in Excel worksheet Phones. So Ikra has fixed factor predictors, and they are, first of all, there's grade. This has levels of A and B. She's not interested in grade C phones. And there's network, so the phone can either be locked to a network or unlocked for all networks. Then there's the type of seller as well, which Ikra wants to put in as a factor. So the type of seller can be an individual, a professional, or a company. And then, then there's the platform where you buy the second home phone. So that can be Nile, Alibabli, or eRiver. Using Icarus data in Worksheet Phone, produce the following charts in order to look at possibly significant effects and interactions in the data. So number one, produce a main effects chart. Number two, produce an interactions chart. Number three, produce a multivary chart. Then you could say in the second part of the question, then run the ANOVA general linear model procedure in order to produce a GML model showing which factor and interactions are significant to the response price. Check the residuals for the model to validate the model. Number six, what's the strength of the model? Number seven, is multicollinearity an issue for this model? Number eight, tell ICRA the levels of the factors which would give the lowest price phone. Show ICRA the price difference between a grade A and grade B phone if this factor is significant. Here's the data from Worksheet Mobiles transferred into Minitab. Remember it's for exercise 5.04. Let's just have a quick look at the data before we start the exercise. So my response is the price of the phone. And ICRA wants to know how these fixed predictors will affect the price of the phone. So the first fixed predictor is grade. The phone can be grade A or grade B. I take it grade B is a bit more scratched up, uh, possibly some damage to the phone. Network, so the phone can either be locked to a particular network or it can be unlocked. Then we have the type of seller. Is it a professional company that's selling the phone, maybe a phone company? Is it a professional reseller of phones? Or is it just someone who's upgrading their old phone and selling their old phone on some sort of site? Then we have the actual platforms. So you have Nile, Ecove and Alibaby. And what we want to know, for example, is does having a grade A or a grade B phone change its price? Does the network change its price? Does the seller change its price or does the platform change its price? Or even combinations of the two working together, will they increase the price or decrease the price more or less than you think? So that's what we're going to investigate with the ANOVA general linear model. So before we go into the general linear model, what we've been asked to do is produce a number of graphs. So we've been asked to produce a main effects chart, an interactions chart, and a multivary chart. So let's do that now. So we go to Stat ANOVA main effects plot. My response is price. Then I have the four factors. Click OK to produce the main effects plot. So here's the main effects plot. And what it does, it displays on the y-axis your response, so in my case, price. And then you have your factors, grade, network, seller, platform. And each of these is isolated 
to say, okay, if just if there were just changes between grade going from A to B and nothing else mattered, what would the price be? Okay, and then you've got the mean of all data down the middle. It's almost it's very close to 220 as you can see. So what does the main effects plot tell me? So it tells me that the factor that's having the most effect on price is grade because that line is the steepest. You can see that the seller going from company to individual is having more of an effect than whether the network is locked or unlocked. The platform doesn't seem to be making that much difference and those values are around the mean of all data as well. Okay, let's make the interactions plot. Stat Nova interactions plot. Again, we enter the menu in the same way. Okay, so here's the interactions plot. And what we're looking for is non-parallel lines. Okay, these lines are kinked, but they are quite parallel. So probably not those. But the only ones where I can see where we have non-parallel lines is between seller and platform. Now, there could be an interaction there between seller and platform, particularly around the professional, which is kind of changing more than the other two are changing. In fact, these, are, you could say, are quite straight. Companies quite straight. Individuals quite straight. But professional is changing more in terms of value as you go from Alibaby through Ecove to Nile. OK, but we'll find out whether anything's significant when we actually do the ANOVA general linear model. For now, let's make the multivariate chart. And we click on Stat, Quality Tools. Down at the bottom, there's the multivariate chart. Click on that. Now I'm going to put in price as my response. Now the look of the multivariate chart can change quite a lot depending on the order that you put your factors in. It doesn't matter in terms of values, but the, the actual look of the chart will might mean something different to you depending on how you put them in. Now I don't know what that's going to be right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the factors in as I normally do, which is starting off with the one that's got the most levels in first. And for me, that's platform and seller. So I'm going to put those two in first. Start off with seller, then platform, then grade, and network. Click OK. So the first thing that we do when we look at the multivariate chart is first of all recognize the y-axis again is your continuous response of price. Then we should then look down each of the factors in turn. So starting off with seller, and as you can see, we've got the inverted V shape for seller, uh, which breaks down across pretty much all of the combination of factors. So that inverted V shape was there in the main effects plot as you go from company to individual to professional. Next, let's have a look at platform. So within each plot, platform is the red square. So the changing differences between platform is represented by the red square. And here you've got the code. So first it's Ali Baby, then it's Eco, then it's Nile. So here Ali Baby slightly higher, then Ecove, then Nile. And here you can see it's slightly different again. So there's not much changes between platform as we said before. So this gets a bit complicated now. We've got a real matrix going on. So if you want to compare grade A to B, we go left to right. And we look at the green diamonds. So going from left to right, grade A is more expensive than grade B. Now, if we want to compare locked to unlocked, we go from top row to bottom row, again, looking at the green diamond. So unlocked phones cost more than locked phones for grade A. And that's also true for grade B, that unlocked phones cost more than locked phones. I told you there was a lot to unpack there. So our next task is number four, produce a GLM model showing which factor in interactions are significant to the response price. So I'm going to have to build the model and then reduce the model. And as I said before, it's done through the traditional menus. So I click on Stat, ANOVA, General Linear Model, Fit General Linear Model. My response is price. And I have four factors. Select those. I'm going to click on model 
and I am going to check for interactions. So I'm going to select all my factors and then click on add and you'll see that they're added into the model. Click OK. I'm not going to change anything else at the moment. I'm just going to make sure I've got the right model and then I'll start looking at residuals. So click OK to execute the model. So what we see is grade is significant, network is significant, seller is significant, platform is not significant because I'm looking at the p-values. Then we have our two-way interactions and none of them are significant. Okay, fair enough. So what I'm going to do first of all is remove the two-way interactions from the model. Click on edit last, go to model, go to default, click OK. Click OK to execute the model. OK, we see that platform is still not significant, so I'm going to get rid of that this time. Click on Edit Last. I'll do it by changing the factors and not enter platform. So just entering grade, network and seller. OK, so they're the only three in my model. Click OK. I'm going to click into graphs and select the four and one. Click OK. I'm going to go into results and select full set of coefficients, which is what I like to do. So click OK and OK again. That should be executing the model for the final time. So here we have the model. Lack of fit is not significant, meaning that we have a good model. And here we've got three significant factors for the model. Is a regression equation for the model. So number five, check the residuals for the model to validate the model. So you saw me produce the four in one residuals. So here's the four in one residual plot for the study. Looks like we've got good normality of the residuals. We don't have extreme skewness. On the versus fits, the residuals are equally spaced around the zero line. That's great. And if the data was taken in random order, we don't see any kind of patterns there. So that's great. I'm quite happy with the residuals. Number six, what is the strength of the model? So I did zoom past that before, if you saw it. But the model summary is telling us there that the R squared is 58.8%, or if you want R squared adjusted, 56%. So not bad, but not great either. Number seven, is multicollinearity an issue for this model? Well, because we use the traditional menus to form the model, we do get reports of VIFs of the coefficients and all the VIFs are low, so multicollinearity is not an issue for this model. So now tell ICRA the levels of the factors that would give the lowest price phone. So the best way of doing that is probably get to go to main effects plot and say to ICRA, well, still your decision, but if you buy a grade B phone that's locked and you buy it from a phone company, then you'll get the best price. And then finally, show ICRA the price difference between a grade A and B phone if this factor is significant. Well, we know the factor is significant. What we need to do is go to the regression equation and we can have a look at that. So the base price you could say is £219. If you want a grade A phone, you add on 10 to that. And if you have a grade B phone, you can take away 10 from the £219. So the difference between a grade A and a grade B phone is actually £20. That was me. Yeah, I'd still go for the grade A. So that concludes this example. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. If you want to learn more about Minitab, you can subscribe to one of my many courses on my new website, thinksixsigma.com. You can also pick up a free 365 page Six Sigma Greenbelt guide from my website, thinksixsigma.com. Let's continue to learn together. See you soon.